your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, October 9th to Monday, October 16th, 2017. Now, what is going on this week, Libra, is we've got Mars and Venus conjunct right here in your 12th house of your insides, okay? And of who you are on the inside, also of your past as well, and things going on there. And so I think what that means is that you're really trying to overcome some things from the past, perhaps have been holding you back in some way so that you can move forward, as well as just figuring out what's going on inside you so that you can get more right with yourself and really launch forward into a new life feeling much better and much, much more free to be who it is who you really are, okay? I don't think that's new. We were dealing with it last week a little bit, but we're still de dealing with it a little bit this week as well. I think what's going on here is really having to do here where Pluto is in your fourth house of home and family, really trying to figure out how you can build a home life that really resonates more truly with you and who you are with Pluto here in your fourth house of home and family, making it trying to uh, Mars and Venus. Maybe there's been a lot of stuff going on in your home life that's been changing. Family relationships, changing home life, also something very core to your being, the foundations of what it's built on has been changing as well too. And you're really trying to figure out how you can get right with that, understand that better, move uh, forward away from the past so that you really can build more of the life and the foundation that it is that you want in your life to build off of moving forward. <laughs> uh, if you got that there, okay? So I think that is what is going on uh, this week and I think what's going to come more into focus this week is now that you've kind of figured out perhaps what kind of foundations you want in your life and what kind of home life you want and what kind of changes you need to make in order to be more comfortable really starting to do a lot more communicating and thinking about it here with Saturn uh, in your third house of talk and of communication and of people around town also making a square here to your 12th house where um where, Mer where Mars and Venus are, okay? So I think you're thinking about changing your home life uh, in a way that'll make you more comfortable. And now you have to figure out um, how to communicate about that in the right ways, who to tell, how to talk about it, how to make sense of it yourself uh, with what's going on here, and perhaps even having to work out some of the details about it well as well so that you really can begin to move forward, okay? So I think that is a big thing that's coming in here as you're beginning to uh, start to talk about these things and figure out the details and think about it more. I think there's also a lot going on here where Mercury and the Sun are in your first house as well, really wanting to start to move forward uh, and to act on you and on your identity and some things that are important for you, maybe still having to deal with some stuff from the past, still having to deal with some stuff inside you that's not quite right, but really wanting to move past that, come out of it, communicate more about yourself and about what is happening there so that you really can be able to create the home life that it is that you want, okay? And I think really having to think about how you can build and to communicate about how you can build this life and bring it more into what it is that you're working on and what it is that's going on and integrate some of these changes that you've been thinking about that's been happening at the very core of your being, how to integrate these changes into who you are and bring them out of the darkness into the light and to think about them better and to communicate with people, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm a little wordy today, I don't know why, um, but I'm hoping that that makes sense here uh, as you go about doing all of that stuff. Now, I don't think that that's going to be the easiest thing that's going to go on. I think there could be some uh, uncertainties or insecurities here when it comes to your job and your daily routines because we do have um, Mars and Venus conjunct in your 12th house here and in opposition with Chiron in your sixth house of your job and of your daily routines. So maybe just worried that your job isn't gonna be what you want it to be, that your daily routines aren't gonna quite jive with you in some way. Really needing to get over some insecurities and worries about your job here so that you can really start to work on yourself, get right with yourself, figure out what you want and need so that you can start to move forward and initiate some of these things that you've been thinking about and to make better plans to really build something Thing on in the future, okay? There could also be some unexpected things that come up over here from partnerships, people, relationships, one-on-one -on -one types of relationships that could also be um, a little hard for you to integrate as well with, with Uranus and your seventh house of partners opposite the Sun and Mercury this week and really having to learn how to take some of this unexpected stuff that's coming up from you uh, with you from other people and really integrate it into your identity in some way to balance both of them out and, and work with other people too uh, while you still move forward on some things that are really important to you okay so I think that's what's going on as that's happening we also 
also do have Jupiter here starting to move into your second house of money. So if you've had any money issues, that should hopefully get easier as well uh, for you. Uh, it should be easier for you to perhaps be more confident in life, use more of your gifts and talents and skills uh, to really create something that's important to you, attract more income, be more stable, that kind of thing. Jupiter will be there helping out for you for the next year, uh, which will be really nice. And then of course, Venus moving into your first house, which is your ruler, really making it much easier for you to, to manifest something that's important to you and your identity and to get some things done here that may have been a little bit harder for you. It's just a matter of figuring out what you want, adjusting your perspective maybe to some things and really beginning to move forward and communicate about something new perhaps in some way that it is that you feel like is better for you and can give you a better life. All right. Um, and if you can do some of those things, I think it's really going to open up some doors for you, especially when it comes to focusing on yourself and what you want to really um, think about things in the right ways and to reach some of your goals too with Mercury and the sun making a sextile over to um, the north node in your 11th house of goals. Okay. So that's what I see going on for you this week. Now your card Libra is the six of cups upright. This to me is a card of something coming back from the past. Uh, perhaps um, it's usually a good thing. I want to say could be a little bit nostalgic this week in some way, but something from the past coming back to help you find the joy once again in your life and to appreciate life for what it is and to be happy and to realize again, what everything was for, why you had to do all of this and go through everything. And I think with planets starting to move into Libra, which is your first house, you're going to realize more or <clears throat> what you want to do in this life, what's important to you, and how you need to start to move forward. And I think this week is going to be a really, really good week for you to get clarity on some things and to start to make the moves to change your life, to live a new life, to do something that's more important for you and get over some of these things from the past. Okay, so that's what I got going on for you this week, Libra. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and I will talk to you later.